every major advancement in the last hundred years has been driven by innovative companies. A spark of innovation that takes place. Those sparks of innovation typically come from founders that are deeply unhappy about something. It's very rare that we see massive innovation happening when people are content. I had started many companies uh, in my life, and it was usually because somebody else had a child that was sick or a uh, disease that couldn't be addressed that was affecting a loved one. And, you know, it came from a place of love. Greenlight was a little different because the pain hit close to home. In 2004, we had our second son, Alex, who is now 17. Back then, as a, as a baby, two or three years old, Alex just wasn't eating a lot. And a lot of the foods that he was eating were making him sick. He would develop neurological issues, behavioral issues, pain, and we couldn't figure out what it was. As you would imagine, we were very concerned. Eventually, through determined research, we figured out that Alex had the sensitivities to chemical residues on food. And first we identified colorings and preservatives. But then it became clear that Alex was sensitive to pesticides, to residues of pesticides that would accumulate on simple things like fruits and vegetables. And so he couldn't eat those. So you can imagine the pain that you feel as a, as a dad when your son won't eat and he's not gaining weight and is not thriving because the foods that you typically would feed them would make them sick. And so I started looking at, at the situation and, and, and really wondering, why are we using all these chemicals? We're growing food industrially. We are keeping animals domesticated. We're, we're doing all these things that aren't necessarily what nature evolved to do. And nature reacts in a certain way you're going to attract a bunch of insects and fungi and other organisms that want to eat that food. We could use chemical tools, which are, yes, very potent, but also non-specific, that tend to accumulate in the soil, in the water, in the air that we breathe, and of course, in the food that we eat. Or we could try to figure out elegant biological solutions. Well, historically, we haven't done that. There's entire classes of insecticides that are derived from chemical warfare agents. And we've decided we're going to dilute them down and spray them on fields of the foods that we're going to feed our children. These chemical agents end up killing other organisms that we depend upon for survival. Honeybees, butterflies, ladybugs, the microbes in the soil that are responsible for recycling carbon, for fixating nitrogen, are all eliminated by these chemical agents. We cannot continue like this. We have soon to be 8 billion people living in this planet. We're going to have to produce more food than ever. And if we don't find a way to do it sustainably, harnessing the power of biology, we will continue to degrade our planet to the point that nothing will grow. You start companies like Greenlight because of a deep personal discontent with the way things are being done. But you continue on every day because the mission grows, because the mission becomes more universal. What started as a deeply personal mission became a mission to say, well, it's not an Alex problem, it's an every kid in the world problem.